Hey, how's it going everybody? Christoph here. In this video we're going to be talking about these little LoRa modules and using them with Meshtastic. We got a little demo here. Inside here is one of these modules. I 3D printed this little enclosure. I also purchased these uh, aftermarket antennas to play around with. But as you can see, I got a bunch of these to mess around with. But I set up a little demo here. So right now, this iPhone is connected to that radio over Bluetooth. This is the Meshtastic app. Here we have a second radio connected to this laptop. And this is the Meshtastic web application that's running on this computer locally. As you can see here, local host. You can download this as a Docker container. And I've made videos on how to install Docker containers on your computer. So if you want to refresh on that, take a look at those. But as you can see, I sent this message here. We are in airplane mode. Here I have the internet turned off. Obviously Bluetooth has to stay on because the devices are connected over Bluetooth. But here we send a message real fast. And like magic. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just doing a direct message between these two radios. What is really cool about this is that you can set up these chat rooms that are encrypted. So on each device, let's go back. Let's see a knit. So you can have multiple radios all synced up in this one chat room and all of the radios will receive this message. So as you saw, that popped up right there as I sent that here. If I had more radios connected to this chat, they would all see the same message. Let me plug this into USB. When you're hooking these up, you want to make sure that does have an antenna attached before you power it on. We're going to jump on the Meshtastic website and just go through the get started just to get some code on here. It's super simple. If you have Chrome browser, you just upload all the code straight through the browser. Okay, browsing to meshtastic.org here. You can see how simple this is. There's literally three steps to get started. Buy the hardware, flash configure the node, then connect your device to the node like we did with the iPhone and the uh, web browser. So let's hop into the docs here real fast. And then they just explain how this works. From there, you can start just learning more about the system. But we're just going to jump straight in here. So what I'm going to do is go to hardware here, go to devices, the devices I'm using are all uh, ESP32 based. I don't have any NRF uh, based uh, devices, but I do plan on getting some in the future just to play around with them. I heard they have better battery life. But uh, if you come down here, you can uh, shop based on uh, what they uh, recommend here that you use. So I have, let's see, I think I have either this one or this one. Yep, it's this one. So I have this one here. Let's see if we can get a picture. Yep. So one of them uh, with the screen that I had over there on the desk is uh, this guy right here. And the other one that I had is, where is it? It's the wireless stick light, this one right here. So this is that other one here. So right now I'm going to plug in my wireless stick light into USB. So let's hop back over to getting started, flashing firmware. ESP32 device. So right here you see the method that they recommend is using the web flasher, which is what I have on this side of the screen here. If you click this link, flasher.meshtastic brings you up right here. So here we'll just choose the one I'm gonna connect, which is this wireless stick light. I'm gonna choose the firmware. Right now, let's see, I'm gonna choose this one, 2.22. Okay, so now we have, let's click flash. Baud rate, we're going to leave that the same. So here it says uh, on the uh, board, there are two buttons on the sides. You may need to do this or you may not need to do this, but let's try without doing it first. So let's just hit update. Here you can see it picked up my uh, device here. You have to use a Chrome browser to do this, just uh, FYI. If you're using um, like Firefox or something, this is not going to work. This is actually an experimental feature in Chrome browser that you have to enable if it's disabled but it came default enabled on mine, just so you know. So we're gonna connect that. Oh, looks like we got a good connection here. So it's actually just writing. So there you go, we didn't have to do anything to the board. We just plugged it in, came in here, chose our settings, and then it starts uploading the firmware right away. 
So while this is doing this, let's uh, so hop in over here into the web client. As you saw on my laptop, I was running uh, I was running the uh, Meshtastic web application locally, which is the same application right here. But what I did was down here, you can just click this GitHub link. And there's instructions on how to uh, set this up using Docker. It's actually incredibly easy. All you have to do is just run this command. They have this uh, on Docker Hub. And it will just download and install and just start working right away. Obviously, again, you have to use Chrome browser in order to uh, use that Bluetooth connection feature. That's all I did on my laptop was just uh, install it over Docker. That way it's off grid. You don't have to rely on this client.meshtastic.org. So here, this is about to be done. We may have to uh, reset the device. Actually, it looks like it's connected. So let's see if we can even see it on here. New device. Yeah, there it is. So just like that, we have our device. Uh, so to connect to it, um, the default passcode is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it tells you all this in the documentation. So let's see if it will uh, load. Yep, here we go. So it's all connected here. You can see a readout. Um, so if I wanted to send messages over to one of my devices over on a table, I could just pull it up over here. I shut them off, but that's how you do that. The other thing you can do is start coming in here and start entering, uh, start creating chat rooms. But uh, that's going to be for a future video because I don't want this video to get too long. And in the future, I'm going to be taking these out in the field and we'll play around with them on trails and stuff. That's actually a pretty good, besides uh, the disaster stuff, this is a good use case for this if you're uh, into mountaineering or... You know, you're just going out in the wilderness a lot. You can actually use these to talk to each other if you were to get separated. So you could create a uh, like a comms plan or something. These devices are super cheap here. You can see I got these ones on AliExpress. They're sixteen dollars a piece. These little wireless wireless stick lights. They don't seem to be clones or anything. That actually seems to be the Helltech one. So not bad. If you were to buy these on Amazon, you're going to be spending about twenty five dollars per uh, per radio. The other thing to think about here is uh, if you're in the U.S., you have to make sure you get this version, the 868 to 915. Uh, I think this version here is like uh, for Europe and stuff. But you just got to make sure that you're using the correct frequencies, um, not breaking any laws and stuff. But uh, you don't need a license to use this. Not a licensed frequency. Obviously, it's still controlled by the FCC, but usually that's like wattage limits and things like that. But yeah, uh, just grab grab two of these things and start playing around with it. It's super easy, as you can see. Just hop on Meshtastic and it literally just walks you through everything. That's all I did. I was a little uh, intimidated at first thinking this was going to be difficult, but uh, it wasn't too difficult. I'm going to leave links down in the description for the uh, 3D prints and all that. And um, yeah, jump in and start playing around with this stuff. Thanks for watching.